Hi, in the previous video, we have seen how to create the materials. Now in this video, we are going to see how to create the material instance and what are the difference between the material and material instance. So now if you want to create the material instance, you can just right click on this material and you can click on this create material instance. So now you can give it a name. So for example, here I will give it like a material instance like MI. Now if you double click on this material instance here you can see here it has been opened some of the properties in which we can make some changes. So for example if you double click on this material here it will open the material graph. So if you want to make any changes we need not to be go to this graph editor for all the time. Instead of that we can go to the material instance. So whatever the changes we want to make here directly we can make the changes. So for example here we have some less properties to change in this material instance. So now if you double click on this. So if you right click on this texture sample and if you click on this convert to parameter, let's say we will name it as basic color and if you click on this save now you can see if you double click on this instance now it has been added one property called base color the base color which we have given the name in the material graph suppose what the use of it is if you have only one material and you can make it different kind of material instance and you can apply to different models so for example if you take another model let's say if i take this model now and if you drag and drop in case if I apply this material instance to this thing now it won't match because the material is different and the model is different. Now what we can do is in this material instance you can click on this base color and now whatever the texture you want to use we can directly drag and drop so that now the material has been matched but still you need to match the normal maps too. So what we can do is so we can go to the materials and we can double click on this and we can convert the remaining two parameters. So convert to parameter. Let's say we'll call it as normal and right click convert to parameter. We can metal something. Now if you click on this save and if you close now if you double click on this instance now here it has been added the metal and the normal. So if you enable this and now you can change this. So for example if you go to this thing and directly you can drag the normal here and you can drag this roughness so that it will match properly. So this is a very useful option here. Now if you have one material and you can create a number of instance so that you can apply to different models. And now you see if you go to the original model and if you click on this material instance here you can see there are a lot of properties in which we can change the color of the texture. So if you enable this albedo tint and you can change the color of the texture too. So in later in the videos we will see how to add these all the properties.